Let's go through this kidney-friendly Trader Joe's shopping haul. I'm Michelle Crosmer. I'm a renal dietitian, and this is Plant-Based Kidneys Kitchen. And I'm going to go through some kidney-friendly items that you can find at Trader Joe's if you're lucky enough to have a Trader Joe's near you. Now, this is might be the start of a new series if people are interested in this. And if you have specific Trader Joe's products that you want me to review and look at, then leave them in the comments. And as long as people um, like, share, and you know they want to see more of this, then I will go through it. So let's start with um, the produce. So green beans are a great lower potassium vegetable. These are already... Um, wash and cut and trimmed so super easy to use right away power greens okay so before you come at me for spinach and spinach being high in potassium this is organic baby kale baby chard and baby spinach now the whole entire bag which is five ounces is one serving so if you ate this whole bag it would be 681 milligrams of potassium yes that is a lot but I open this up so you guys can see. Typically, if you take just a handful and you throw it into your stir fry, or you're using a couple handfuls in a soup or a dish that's serving multiple people, that is going to be a low potassium amount. Um, and then the kale and the chard being in there helps offset the higher potassium of the spinach. Next thing, frozen tri-colored cauliflower. I actually have a recipe on my page you can check out where I use frozen cauliflower and canned chickpeas and then some curry powder and I roast it in the oven and it's a super delicious, easy recipe. But one cup of this frozen cauliflower is 240 milligrams of potassium. So it's a great, more moderate potassium option, but it's frozen and you can either cook it on the stove top, you can cook it in the oven, or you can microwave it for ease. All right, pour some fruit. Lower potassium fruit options um, are more low to moderate. I have some strawberries and then plums. Plums are in season now. Um, and so one medium plum is about 100 to 110 milligrams of potassium. So just to show you what that looks like, it's about that size of a plum. So great lower potassium options for fruit. Now on to our shelf stable products. Number one low sodium vegetable broth. This is some of the cheapest low sodium vegetable broth that you'll find, but it's 115 milligrams of sodium per serving. So that's great low sodium option. Next thing I have, so some sesame oil. So sesame oil adds a lot of flavor to dishes like um, stir fries. You can use just a little bit in like a sauce or a dressing you're making, maybe with some rice vinegar, some um, coconut aminos, lime juice. It adds a lot of flavor to a stir fry dish. Miso paste. Miso is really hard to find low sodium. This one, um, the only ingredients is the white miso, which is water, rice, soybeans, and salt. And one teaspoon is a serving size and it has 170 milligrams of sodium. So that's probably the lowest sodium miso that I found. So that's a great option. Salsa, this is both low sodium and low potassium. So it's Trader Joe's Hatch Valley Salsa. And per two tablespoons serving, 65 milligrams of sodium and 67 milligrams of potassium. Green tea, yes, you can drink green tea if you have kidney disease. Um, main thing when you're looking for teas is that the only ingredient is green tea. We don't want to have a green tea blend where there's herbal teas or other things like that because some teas um, are contraindicated in kidney disease, but just plain green tea is fine. You can add some lemon to it. If you need sweetness, you can add like a teaspoon or less of honey. Um, two more things, of course, we want some garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Um, these one's actually a half a cup. It's 130 milligrams of sodium. So that's technically low sodium, but once I drain and rinse this, it's going to remove about 50% more of the sodium. And then the last thing for today is this um, soy milk. So I just want to start by saying soy milk is going to be higher in potassium and higher in protein. So depending on your individual needs, you might need to adjust the portion. Per one cup portion, nine grams of protein and 430 milligrams of potassium. So definitely a higher potassium plant milk. But what I like about this, the only ingredients is the water and the soybean. So it doesn't have phosphorus additives. It doesn't have oil and all these other things added to it. It's just simply the soybeans and water. Um, and if one cup, you know, 430 milligrams of 
potassium and nine grams of protein is too much for you, then just use a smaller amount. Um, when I make things like oatmeal, I cook it with water and then I just do a splash of soy milk and it adds some like uh, nice flavor and creaminess without cooking the entire thing of oats. Um, that's how you can help keep that potassium down. So this is the first kidney friendly Trader Joe's haul. Um, any products that you want me to review, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of the prepared and packaged and frozen items. So I want to know what you guys are interested in seeing is kidney friendly or how you can incorporate it in your diet. So leave a comment, please like and share this video, and I will see you on the next kidney friendly Trader Joe's haul.